we've talked about the layers of the skin, the cutaneous membrane overall. Um, now we're going to talk more in detail of the layers just of the epidermis. So there are different layers within the epidermis itself. Um, this we will see in lab also. So you will look at these layers, be able to name them. That will help a lot. Um, it also is going to be important for how looking at epidermal growth. So the epidermis is able to repair damage and grow back and constantly is growing. Um, knowing the layers is important for looking at that growth process. Okay, so the first thing to talk about when we talk about um, the epidermis is the types of epidermis. So there are um, generally, what well, there's thick and thin skin. Um, apparently this is thick and thick skin, cross that out. Um, most of your body is actually covered in thin skin. This is just what it means, thin. So the epidermis itself is this right here, is very thin, right? Um, thick skin is a lot thicker. There are more layers. There are actually more layers of epithelial cells in thick skin. Um, cells either alive or dead, but there's layers of cells. Thick skin is present in your fingertips. Um, it's the, where there's the most thick skin. Um, it's somewhat variable across your body. Um, we'll look at thick skin because it's easier to see those layers. We'll see that type in lab. So we'll be using thick skin as our example. Um, but just so you know, um, most skin in your body is is thinner than is thin. So you've seen um, these layers of the skin before, the epidermis being this entire purple piece um, all the way down to there. Then we've got our papillary layer of the dermis goes till a about here, um, hard to tell exactly, somewhere along here. And then we've got our reticular dermis below that, that dense irregular tissue. And below that, our hypodermis is made of adipose tissue. We're going to zoom in to these layers of the epidermis. Um, so kind of this square right here. So let's zoom in there. There we go. Here are my drawings. All right, epidermis. I'm gonna start at the top. So this is the superficial side of the body. This is the apical surface of the epithelial epithelium. Um, this is the basal side. Here is the papillary dermis down here. Particular dermis probably just below, kind of down there. Um, okay. So the epidermis, the apical side, we're gonna, the top layer is the stratum corneum, about there. Strata mean layers. So like stratification, um, geologists talk about stratification of the earth. So stratum is a singular. These layers are gonna be called strata. Stratum corneum. I remember this because kind of like a crown, cor cornea, um, corona is crown in Spanish. Um, corneum actually means, refers to the horny layer. It's these dead cells that are kind of scaly in some species like reptiles, even more scaly, the top layer of the epidermis. Um, so this is gonna have, we'll call them scaly dead cells. Um, though, even though they're dead, they're still playing an important role um, in protecting. Um, below that, there is a clear layer. This is the stratum lucidum. Stratum lucidum. Lucidum means clear, so lucid. Um, this is a clear layer. It's very waterproof, as is the stratum corneum. A lot of this stuff provides waterproof protection because of the proteins in it. This is only present in thick skin. So it's part of what makes your um, fingertips kind of waxier. And the protein in this layer just doesn't stain. So that's why it's, it's clear like this. 
Below that, there is a very much more colored layer. The very bottom is super purple here. Um, this is the stratum granulosum. I remember that because a granular layer. And if you zoom into these, you can see kind of little granules, especially in the purple down there. Um, that is where the keratin, the protein keratin is starting to be produced. And you can see it in that first layer down there. Um, that's what stains really dark. Keratin is what's waterproof. It starts to be produced here. Um, at the same time as the, the cells start to die, and you can see that um, here, like the cells are kind of empty at this top portion of the stratum granulosum, and then they're actually dead cells from there and above produced. And we'll see this again, I'll have a separate video on talking about the growth of the epidermis specifically, talk about the kind of the cells, what the cells do. Um, but that's why it's purple, is those uh, keratin production. Below that, there is the stratum spinosum, spiny layer. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of spiny, bunch of little cell dots in there, um, kind of nondescript layer that's in between the base layer and the granulosum. Um, it's fairly thick. The base layer is the stratum basilae. It is a single layer thick. Basilae. Um, this is the bottom layer of cells. So anything above this bottom layer up to this purple line is the stratum spinosum. Stratum basilae is where um, cell growth init is initiated from. Cells divide and um, then push up to push the other layers up. And then the process of growth we'll talk about. Um, okay, so that's basically the layers, um, provide protection, um, provide waterproof, waterproofing um, with that keratin protein from here and above. Um, layers of dead cells are important for protection. And then the living cells on the bottom are important for that regeneration and continued growth. Okay, then we've also got, in addition to the layers, a couple of other structures to talk about in here. Before we do that, um, quick learning check. So you are going to do this on your own. These layers are numbered for you. They look a little bit different than the previous slide. You're going to name these layers. Six is outside of the epidermis. Um, this first five, one through five, are in the epidermis. Um, Again, look a little bit different than they did in the previous slide, but hopefully you can remember the name and order of those layers. Okay. Now, um, like I said, a couple other structures, some of which we will see in lab, some of which you can't really see. So this first one is one, the sweat, um, the sweat duct is what's coming out here. Let me move myself. These are typically cut off, um, like they're, they're so thin that when you cut the tissue, you can't really see them anymore. Or if you see like a tiny little bit of one, it doesn't look much like one. So this is our sweat duct, does come through those layers of the epidermis because um, it has to, to get outside, right? It's an exocrine gland, it has to pass through the epidermis. Um, so that's what that is. The sweat gland would be down here, down, way down further, we can't see it. Sweat duct and the pore is up here. Okay, this arrow is pointing to dead keratinocytes. What is a keratinocyte? It is a cell that produces keratin. Site, you know that suffix, um, keratin producing cell. They're dead, member above the stratum granulosum. You can see dead pieces of cell filled with keratin falling off up here. Um, living keratinocytes are below the stratum granulosum and below. They die in that stratum granulosum. So dead cells, keratinocytes are the squamous cells of the epithelium. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. These cells, there's one here, um, one 
if that's the only one actually. Um, there's touch receptors that are at the, kind of the very bottom of the, within the epidermis. Many touch receptors are in the dermis, but just um, this one type here called Merkel's discs, you don't need to know that yet, are actually embedded within the epidermis itself to sense um, touch. Okay, uh, important one, stem cells. So I told you already, the stratum basilae, which is this bottom layer here, can divide and is responsible for growth of the epithelium. That's because of the stem cells. Stem cells are immature um, cells that can still have the ability to divide, still can become um, the, the various types of tissue. In this case, they're going to become epidermis cells. So they're, no, they're marked here as being slightly different. Um, you wouldn't see them any different than the rest of the stratum basilae, like in a tissue slide. Okay, another cell type that's important that's in the stratum basilae is melanocytes. Melanocytes produce melanin. Melanin is this brown stuff that is around this melanocyte. The melanocyte produces melanin, which protects us from the sun from UV light of the sun. And we've got a separate video on that coming up. So that's an important one. That's a particularly important one. Uh, besides that, blood vessels should be pretty obvious. These are blood vessels. The connective tissue is vascular. The, this is areolar tissue. Um, the epidermis is not important for um, providing nutrients to the epidermis. And then last one, this little mound right here, um, is the papillary, I'm sorry, the dermal papilla. Dermal papilla, papilla means little bump. The dermal papilla is made of papillary dermis layer. It's made of areolar tissue. The papillary dermis forms these papilla. 